Hello folks, Ron Whitmire here. It's a beautiful summer morning. You're on a construction site doing a job you've done thousands of times before. You look up and you see a 70 foot steel beam coming loose from a crane. You don't know where that beam is going, what it's gonna hit, and you just know six and a half tons of steel is flying through the air and you turn and run for your life. Ladies and gentlemen, incidents like this on construction sites are preventable. The OSHA Fatal Four, the four leading causes of construction worker deaths in this country are responsible for 58% of all construction worker deaths. And the second of the Fatal Four is workers being struck by something on a construction site. So here are the common types of struck by hazards on construction sites. Struck by a flying object, struck by a falling object like a steel girder, struck by a swinging object like a swinging load from a crane, or struck by a rolling object like a rolling piece of equipment. Let's talk about prevention. What can be done to protect construction workers from struck by hazards? One, workers always wearing <clears throat> visible vests or clothing. Contractors and employers always conducting an assessment of the job site where all of the potential work site safety hazards are assessed. All workers on the job site should have documented safety, orientation, and training. Employers ensuring that all equipment is in safe operational condition based on regular periodic inspections. Employers ensuring that crane operators are qualified and certified according to OSHA standards. Companies and employers ensuring that all operators, signal persons, and riggers are trained, certified, uh, in doing their job properly and safely. And employers must pay for workers' personal protection equipment. That's required by OSHA. In summary, ladies and gentlemen, construction companies, employers, and workers, by following OSHA regulations and guidelines, for safety precautions and safety training, struck by hazards that injure or kill construction workers can be prevented. If you want to discuss any of this information, feel free to shoot me an email. Until next time, stay safe and be well.